Hola amigos, this is Somvir and welcome to Learning Boards. In the last video, we have seen how to create, update and delete the lessons. In this video, we will see how we can put comment and reply on our lessons. To give you a quick demo, let's go to curriculum, let's go to standard, let's go into a subject, let's go into a lecture. Under lecture, we can see that we have comments and also replies for it. We can add any reply for it and we can add a new comment also on the top. Let's quickly see how we can achieve this. I am in my curriculum models.py where all of my database about the chapters and lessons is stored. I will put two models here that will behave as comment and replies. Let me quickly create a comment model. I will use this line of code to implement my comment model. Before going forward, let me make a point here. There are two ways of making the comment and reply system. First method is to use a reply field which will be a recurrent call to itself. The simple logic behind that is if a reply does not have a parent, it will be considered as a main comment and if it does have a parent, then it will be considered as a reply. This is somewhat complicated. So I'll be making a different model of reply which will be connected. So we will give a lesson name and it will be a foreign key to the lesson in which the comment will be present a comment name I used the author body and date added I am saving it as comment by author and so and so date and I am calling class meta so that I can make the order as the latest date added first so this is our comment model let me quickly add reply model our reply model will look something like this we will have a comment name to connect it to the comment a reply body author and date added and for simplicity I am returning return to the comment name that's all we need in models.py let's create forms for this if we go to forms.py here I can add my comment form as this I am giving the model of comment I only want body to be shown I am giving label of comment and I am giving some attributes let's import the models comments and reply our reply form will look something like this here also we will be needing reply body and we are giving some attributes. We have created the form. Now let's use views.py to define them in a function. If we go to views.py, we need our forms in lesson detail view. In lesson details view, this is how we can call the two forms. I have already imported them. Before going forward, let me lay out the logic what we are going to do. First of all, we will be sending these two forms to our page and according to the form which is posted, we will take action accordingly. If we have comment form, we will update the comment. If we have reply form, we will update the reply. To send both of our forms to the page, we need to add them into the context. We can add them into the context with this code. Here we are calling the super function. We are calling our forms form and form2. Form is basically the comment form and form2 is reply form. So we are checking if they are in the context or not. If not, we will be adding them. Once we have added them into the context, we need to handle the post request. We can define the post function like this. We will call on the object which is basically the object of the model we are passing in this class which is lesson. Now we see if we have form or form2 in our request.post. If we have form in our request.post, we will call the inbuilt function get form class. We are able to use get form class because we are providing the form class which is default field as comment form and for second form class we need to define something so we will use get form class for our form and for form 2 we will just call form class is equal to form dot second form class we will work on the specific form we want so from the condition we will get the form class and using this we will get the form now along with checking the validation of the form we need to make sure that we are giving a name form or form2 when we are submitting our form that will be handled in our html file in a while we will check if the form name is form and it is valid and we will return the self.form valid which we will define in a moment otherwise we will check for form2 and validation and we will return form2.valid let us define our validation functions let me define the form valid function first it will look something like this we will call on the object of lesson model. We will take the form and set commit is equal to false. We will add author lesson name from the object we called and the lesson ID and we will save this. 
and at the end we will redirect to the get success url and this we will define in a moment the form 2 valid is a little bit different connecting it to the comment whereas for the comment we were connecting it to lesson id so here we will add the author and the comment id and this comment id we will get from the html post request let us now define the get success url the success url will look something like this we want the user to stay on the lesson detail so we are using reverse lazy to stay on the lesson detail and we are providing all the same subject standard and slug now this is all that is required on our views.py but we need to remember that form and form 2 name should be given and we also need comment id from the form so keeping this in mind let's create our html file here we are not going to make a new html file but we will use lesson details.html let's go on to lesson details on our lesson details page we only added created on field and we have added update and delete now let's add forms for comment and reply so our comment form will look something like this we will give a heading we will call the form tag we will keep the method is equal to post we will give a simple bootstrap class to make the form look good we are providing the token we are calling the form and in input remember we were supposed to give the name form so here we will give the form and again we are giving a simple bootstrap class to our button so this is our main comment where we can post the comment to a specific lesson now we need to show all the comments that are available and as well as show the replies also we should be able to reply to that comment for that i will use this line of code first of all we will look through all the comments in our lesson we will show them individually and for each comment we will see if we have a reply or not if we have replies we will show each one of them using the for loop and we will pass on the reply form that will be reply to the main comment that is visible and here if we remember we need to give comment id and also form 2 as a name here i am using hidden field to get the id and comment name this comment name is optional i don't think we will need it but still we are providing the token and form with this we are done with the html page now we can run our server to see how it looks as we will not need any urls to be added so let's see so this is our home page if we go to standards sixth class mathematics if we check on chapter 1 probability in it is getting unexpected keyword argument request which is in views.py line 40 let's see so in line 40 we are passing on the request is equal to self dot request to solve this we need to go to our forms.py and change the init function of reply form let me show you how we can add the init function like this we are basically overwriting the init function of the reply form class i am not sure why this error is coming up but this is the way around it after this let's do the same for our comment form if we go back to our browser if we go back and try again here we are getting our comment form if we try this with hi this is first comment let's try to add this now we are getting the error of view does not have get form class attribute let's go back to our views.py and check so here we are getting the error so instead of this if i just use form class this means that we are directly calling our form class from here let's see if it is working we go back and try to add our comment we are getting the error lesson detail view has no attribute get form so if we go to views.py here i just realized i also need to include form view so that the function will run properly and by using this i will no longer need to use this request i can go to forms.py and remove this init function also let's save this and let's see if we can comment if we go back i will say hi this is first comment and let me try to add a comment and here we can see this comment is added and also we have a reply body if i say 
this is a reply and add reply it is coming just below the comment hence our comment and reply function are working before concluding the video we also need to register them on the admin.py so that we can see on the admin dashboard so with this i conclude the video where we have successfully implemented the comment and reply system in our website in the next video we will see how we can use django crispy forms css and a little bit of javascript to make our website creative i will meet you in a new video with something new until then this is somewhere taking your leave adios